Hello and welcome back to New Week, New Game. Today's game is Void Scrappers. Uh, it's another, it's a roguelike, a bullet hell. I was going to say another roguelike bullet hell, but it's not just any roguelike bullet hell. Not only does it have one of the most poppin' title screen music I have heard in quite a while. You use your ship and you go around blasting enemy ships, collecting junk, and then upgrading your ship in that way. As opposed to the way they normally do it with like a person and just weapons and craziness and doing all this. It's starship craziness and a whole slew of different types of weapons that I don't think that you would normally find on on a starship because we we all know the the list of just regular starship weapons yes anyways without further ado let's get in the game and it does use a controller we're going to use the controller we can choose characters we can be murphy it's probably the only character we can be Oh, I see them all sitting here at the bar. Old Major is locked. Remington Double Dagger also locked. Riz Matrix. Uh, Olive, just the bartender. Shrapnel. Gary. To Gary. Three. Big Baz. Hyrek. And Nitro. Okay. So, we'll be Murphy. Me? Oh, I'm just in for the free lunch. Tuna Tuesdays in on my jam. Plus 50% scrap gain, plus 50% damage, plus 15% projectile cooldown. Let's go. Alright, it's gonna go. I need a drink so bad. We could just target who's ever close by. <laughs> uh oh, here comes the boss. Here comes the boss. Ooh, okay, that one hit me. Weapon up. We do a scatter repeat eater, fires projectiles at random. Uh, high damage laser beam shooting at random or a short range single laser beam targeting nearest enemy. Uh, let's go with the. Uh, let's do, do random. Scrap up. Okay, so I guess you get weapon for beating the boss. Collecting the junk gives you uh, this stuff. Restore that shield and go back to full. Increase my projectile range. Let's do that. Scrap up. Uh, let's increase our damage. Another round with a little more damage. Different kind of regular minions starting to come in now. Murphy shield drop. And a boss. Scrap up times three projectile damage. Yeah, let's do that. Weapon up. Uh, connect drone, medium distant orbital weapon. Sounds like fun. Little orbital weapons. Getting some weapons around us. Look at it go. 
just slicing through things. Our scrap goes up. Uh, projectile cooldown, scrap magnet range. Let's do projectile cooldown. about to change. Yeah, that means it's gonna get crazier. Uh, let's go more damage. More damage. Comes a boss. A boss. Ooh, you're big. Do a big boss. Let's see. Let's increase our orbital speed. Let's get that thing moving faster. And new minion out there. The new minions dropped. Ooh. We got the boss. Let's keep it up. Like should increase our range. Bam. New weapon. We got an auto repeater. Fires and nearest targets. Standard issue. I should think these are our base weapons. What we got? Auto smasher fires high damage projectile at nearest target. Sounds fun. Gotta be very careful about how I pilot. Do, do, do. Oof. Too close calls. Hmm. More speed. Comes another boss. Oh man. Let's do scrap game. Oh no! Uh, I can only take one more hit. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'll never financially recover from this. Ah, uh, just eclipsed us. Eclipsed us right there at the end. Gained 11 credits. Only killed four bosses. We're unlocking new things. Unlock new stat upgrade times two to times three upgrade chance. Unlock new stat upgrade laser range. And what was this? Orbital damage. Didn't realize that I didn't have that. Back to the main menu. Uh, we have some points. We had 11 points. There's some permanent upgrades. This shows us the weapons that we have. Scrap ups shows us the different scrap ups we have. Um, let's do our permanent upgrades. Damage increase, cooldown, scrap gain, scrap magnet, shield, credits gain, weapon reload, and vanish upgrade. Let's do credits gain twice. So we can just go quicker with leveling up. New game. Can we be any of you guys? You're all locked, aren't you? Yeah. That's what we need to do. But uh, collect a minimum of five scrap mining upgrades in one run. Uh huh. Yeah, that's something we'll look for.
Ooh, nice. Uh, so we've got the auto repeater, which is what we're using. The scatter repeater fires projectiles at a random order. Standard mortar rounds on nearest target. Let's do that. Dodge that one. Uh, let's see it. Times two slash times three upgrade boost chance boost. Let's do. Let's do that. In our chances. Oh, here comes another boss. So we don't need that. Increased chance of shield drops, I guess. Ooh, ooh. Engine maneuver past all that. That a scratch. Amazing. Did amazingly. Get that boss out. Reject. Fifty percent scrap refund. Beast chance of shield drops, uh, projectile. Oh, let's do damage. Let's see. Wild artillery. Low cooldown, randomly at dispersed explosive. Medium distant orbital weapon, unstable plasma beam. High damage laser beam shooting at random. That's what we got last time. So the kinetic drum. Well, let's check out the wild artillery. Low cooldown, randomly dispersed explosives. Who doesn't like random explosions? Just random, randomly explode. Do some random explosions. Uh, upgrade boost again. We don't have any lasers. Give me these laser upgrades on the lasers that we just don't have. I don't think the artillery counts as a laser anyways. We can just keep on scrapping up. Oh, hey, I got a boost. I'm sitting there holding the trigger buttons, going, wonder if they uh, do anything. Well, again, we don't have lasers. Research chance of a shield drop, even though we're, we've been pretty good about it so far. So far. Ooh, right into one. There you go, projectile range times three. Button, button, excuse me, just gonna squeeze on by here. Uh, so just projectile cooldown. Let's get the fire in a little faster. You. Increase your damage. Our damage is clearly just not not doing enough of it. Whereas before we were just piling on the damage upgrades. 
uh, scrap magnet. That was something we were gonna do. Get that scrap a heck of a lot faster. Oh, orbital damage, but we don't have any orbitals. Projectile cooldown, here we go. boss out here. Need to get rid of this boss. <laughs> no. There we go. Oh, it's a shield drop. No saying there we go as we, we killed it. We did not kill it. Uh, magnet range. Let's boost. Let's look at that shield. Hey there, I'll take you. Almost done with him. Surprised another boss doesn't appear. Scrap up more damage. Since we just aren't hitting like we used to. That artillery damage just doesn't do uh, as much damage as it used to. Chance of shield drop times two. Sure. Why not? There we go. Oh. Oh, look at this. Times two. Please, let me do more damage. Uh, what are we getting for a weapon? Close range artillery. We can up we can upgrade any one of these. Uh, let's upgrade our close range. Maybe we can see what happens if it gets to max. Projectile damage times three. Let's do that. Ah. Put all this scrap just floating out here. Here comes a boss. is a big boy. Big square boy. Uh, let's get our cooldown down. Down, down with the cooldown, down. Down, down, down. Just gonna take that, yeah, just gonna go over here. Let's go do that, do little round circles. Some round circles, just getting y'all rounded up. Uh, since it's times three, might as well. Boom, 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 Range boost. buttons with it. Two different buttons activate your dash. Uh, projectile range times two. Here we go. Oh, 
Looks like our damage output isn't doing as good as we thought it was. But we've rounded up a bunch of them. In a circle, and I think we'll just wind up taking them out slowly. Uh, increase our range. Let's do a magnet boost range. I know that one was times two. I should have probably gone with the times two. But then again, our artillery is either random or mostly focused on whoever's closest, so giving that more range doesn't seem like a... I don't know, uh, the strat to do, especially since we got so much still on the board, we're not, like, keeping it clear. We're getting everyone that's all close to us. Damage! Jerga 107. Now we're up to plus 100%. Really start hitting them. Right now we're just pinging them. We're just, we got a pea shooter is all we got. more good Not that great. Oh no! One more hit and then it's over. Oh, they got us. Dive into them! Blow them up. We had eight credits that time. Got to a much higher threat level. Level 20 on the threat level. Survived that long. There we go. Explosion damage. Okay, now they want to give us the stat upgrade. That'd be great. So does that mean the whole projectile damage things that I've been trying to get only worked on the little projectile weapon that I had, not on those explosions? That kind of sucks because they're they are projectiles in a sense right I'm actually kill bosses when they are below x percent health that's a good stat upgrade and we got a new character we got double dagger Remington a double dagger and we got shrapnel and anybody else we got big bass any anybody else we got a new weapon. We got a photon railgun. Sounds fun. I like space. I like space mumbo jumbo and talk ta taco jumbo. Mmm, tacos. Anyways, that is Void Scrappers. I like it. I like roguelikes. I like uh, me some bullet hell roguelikes. We were doing a lot better maneuvering our way and kind of like getting them all rallied together. I kind of wish it would tell me what type of weapon that I'm getting. I mean, it does say, like, laser, 
Um, I guess if it does say projectile in the title, then that does not make it a projectile weapon. So when I'm getting the explosion weapons, the artillery weapons, and then I'm getting upgrades that are for projectiles, I'm assuming it's going to the artillery weapons. But it's not. We just got the upgrade for explosions, which I wish we started with, if we can choose that as a weapon. I mean, if you get the weapon, the upgrade for that type of weapon should come with it. Same with the, the cooldown and those little slew of uh, scrap-ups. But yeah, I mean, other than, than that, it's a pretty good game. like the graphics. Uh, the colorful cast of characters they have on here seem like they would be fun, just out of curiosity. Let's see. Well, it shows what this guy does. Uh, Remington, a double dagger. Deals double damage, but has no shield. Gains shield static skill, whatever that was. Deals double damage right off the bat, nice. And then shrapnel collecting scrap spawns a projectile gains projectile spawn on death skill and then uh big bears projectiles have knockback so there you go everyone's got their own fun little abilities you can't uh, tell what anyone's abilities are until you have unlocked them i was also aiming to try and get uh scrap magnet upgrades did not manage to get enough to get old major but hey we got four characters i can always do another run and check out one of these other characters and see how they work but our time is up 26 minutes into the video so i'm gonna end it so it doesn't go over 30. anyways thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next game goodbye